11 Facts About Zombies 1. A zombie is an undead whose corpse has been brought back to life through a dark ritual. 2. The Origin of the Zombies For hundreds of years, sorcerers and shamans have raised corpses through voodoo rituals with the sole purpose of turning these rotting bodies into slaves. Black magic and necromancy manage to turn them into true automatons that, deprived of all intelligence or humanity, are capable of carrying out the most perverse orders. 3. Zombie vs. Infected It is easy to confuse a zombie with an infected. In appearance, both are living corpses, however, the differences are noticeable, a zombie does not need to feed. It is kept alive thanks to the sinister ritual that woke it up. 4. Real Zombie vs. Ghoul It's also interesting to distinguish a zombie from a ghoul, the ghouls have been raised by magic far more powerful than that used to raise a zombie. Generally, the ritual is performed by a necromancer or a sorcerer consecrated to a god of death. Thanks to this powerful magic, in which the soul of the victim is involved, the ghoul retains his intelligence, but not his will, which is subservient to that god. The price of this uprising is paid in souls, the souls of the ghoul's victims, which come to belong to the tributed god. The ghouls do seek to feed on bodies and fresh meat and, for this, they use the ability to paralyze their victims, even, in some cases, turning their victim into a new ghoul. 5. How to distinguish a zombie Normally, they are raised from their graves a few days after death, so their state of partial or advanced decomposition reveals them as zombies. The rotten smell that surrounds them is also very characteristic, as well as the detached skin, the worms that sprout from all parts of their body and the ragged appearance. However, once raised, the putrefaction process is stopped by the energy of the spell. 6. The reason is unknown, but they tend to act in the dark and are more often seen lurking at night. Seven, a zombie does not experience any emotion, nor does it feel pain. His nervous system doesn't work, so his movements are directed or programmed by whoever picked him up. They cannot get sick or be poisoned, and they do not need to rest or sleep. Eight, they are abnormally strong and have a resistance and endurance that only black magic can explain. However, their movements are slow and sometimes quite imprecise. 9. Its abilities depend on the creator and what the creator considers useful for his zombie slave. They can range from handling cattle and running a farm, to the use of weapons, as well as knowing how to build or improvise their own. 10. The raised zombie must be programmed with concrete and simple instructions. If the creator of the zombie dies, they keep the last order for life. 11. Zombies can become more dangerous beings than they appear, even to their own creator, as there is a chance that another wizard or necromancer could reprogram the zombie, causing it to turn against its original creator, 